Food is so expensive. This one bag cost me $80. Well, it's not like we have any other option. Actually, we do. Have you heard about the Portland Food Co-op? Co-op? Under communism, virtually everything belongs to the state. The individual has little right to own property, or to plan his own life. Actually, it's not like that. The Portland Food Co-op is a member-owned business that sells locally produced food. Oh, and I signed us up for orientation. Orientation? Bear this in mind. Young people cannot be trusted to form their own opinion. This business about open-mindedness is nonsense. It's a waste of time trying to teach students who think for themselves. It's easy. We just show up, learn about the co-op, and meet some cool people. I sent you a link. You got it? I don't know. Let me go check. Okay, I got your email. What do I do now? Well, all we have to do after the orientation is sign up for our work shift. Work shift? It's not what you think. I think the work shifts could be fun. You just show up once a month, hang out, help out, and then you're done. It's easy. You do all the ordering online. Online? Yeah, it's, it's not calculus. Calculus? Can be written as the n tuple x1 up to xn. And now I won't bother writing this because I hope by this time you understand this. Will you cut it out? You're being such a baby. We'll save some money, we'll make some friends, and we'll eat some good food. I guess. Where are you going? To the co-op to get our order. But you went last time. Is that a problem? It's not fair. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Rock, paper, scissor. <laughs> Rock, Rock, paper, paper scissor, scissor, shoe. Imagine going to a grocery store where the owners work with providers to make sure the products are fresh, local, and affordable. That's what the Portland Food Co-op plans to do when it opens its new storefront on the east end of Congress Street later this year. Everyone will be able to shop at the co-op store, whether they're a member or not. But the co-op says it needs hundreds more new members to actually make that happen. New Center Sarah Delage reports. And that's going to be even better prices. Cause Kim Ballard tries to buy as much of her food as possible from the Portland Food Co-op, but she still makes frequent trips to the grocery store. You have to order about two weeks ahead of time before you can pick it up. And sometimes things don't, the crops fail, sometimes they don't, they're not ready in time, so what you've ordered isn't here, and you've made that Thanksgiving Day plan and it's not there, so you have to run to the store anyways. By next fall, Ballard hopes to be able to do the majority of her shopping here at the new Portland Food Co-op store. Being able to come to a store that has everything ready on the shelf um, when you want it and go, oh, I need some of that too, is just an awesome opportunity. Mayor Michael Brennan points out that more than 80% of Maine's food supply comes from out of state. He says food co-ops can help the state to be more self-sufficient. So this initiative here, hopefully in some small way, will allow us not only to provide healthy food for people in the city of Portland and in the greater Portland area, but it will reduce our carbon footprint and it will make us more food secure. Local farmer Sarah Wiedeker says the co-op will provide greater opportunities for farmers to sell their products. Portland has this thriving farm-to-table restaurant scene. There's also the thriving farmer's market. I feel like there's a little bit of a gap in terms of being able to purchase local products in a retail space. You will not have to be a member to shop at the store, but board members say they need about a thousand new members to open the store and keep prices affordable for everyone. It's a big part of why we also want to be in this neighborhood so that first and foremost the location is more accessible 
and we'll be doing everything we can to make sure that the food is affordable for everyone too. Looking to the community for new co-op members to help bring the farm to table concept to more kitchen tables in Greater Portland. Sarah Delage, News Center. The store is scheduled to open in September and it will provide about 20 new jobs.